Well, there's a couple of things that we strongly believe in. We want to build the safest airplane we possibly can. And that, right from that requirement, brings in innovation. And then, of course, technology. You know, we, there, there's so much development that has happened outside of this industry over the last couple of decades. We're trying to bring some of that in. We want to make aviation very, very simple, very intuitive. The Cirrus perspective, we've taken a step beyond anything else that's available right now. That's the 12-inch screens. Again, bigger is better. That's why VFR flying is so easy. When you look out the window, you've got this great big horizon out there. 12-inch screens are 35% bigger than the 10-inch the screens. In fact, it's actually amazing when you go back to a 10-inch screen. Mm -hmm. I really do find it difficult to, uh, to, to, to think I'm saying 10-inch screens feel like old stuff. Uh, that goes obviously the same for the, the MFD, and that's where a majority of the, the information is displayed. So the bigger screens there really helps. And then a couple of the other things that we're after was dual ADAHARs. We wanted that we required the redundancy of dual ADAHARs in this airplane. The autopilot is available after virtually any um, individual failure. And I say virtually, obviously the autopilot itself could fail and we only have one of those. Uh, we also brought in the GFC 700 autopilot. It's a tremendous autopilot. It's a terrific autopilot. But we wanted a little bit more, so we had Garmin put in a level button. It's a blue button in the middle of the, the uh, uh, autopilot, and it is designed to, at any point, doesn't matter what's going on, you push that button, the airplane will level itself, level the wings, level pitch, fly straight. And it's there to make sure that we alleviate confusion. When somebody programs in something and the airplane does something different than what they expected, that's when vertigo happens. This is about disorientation or about the, what's become the classic FMS, what's it doing now, <laughs> um, things. Ra it's not about unusual attitude and you losing control. You've or if you've already lost control of the airplane, we've got the lost control handle. <laughs> you know, this is uh, the confusion button, you might say. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. Well, with, uh, with perspective, we did bring in a few more things. Uh, change the electrical system again. Uh, we have two large batteries. We went to two full-size alternators. Again, trying to make it very simple. With the old system, it was lighter. But if you lost the alternator, you did have to shed power. You had to shut things off. With this, it becomes somewhat transparent to the pilot. You get a big warning light in front of you that you've lost an alternator, but everything keeps working. Again, it just it simplifies the operation, and that's what we're after with that. Now we change the uh, environmental control system. Uh, better airflow. It's a more efficient system, a lot easier to control and operate than we had before. The new paint scheme is a very unique look and we're after something uh, uh, something a little different, uh, uh, maybe a little more aggressive look. You know, this is a really a cool looking airplane with the, the new paint schemes. The ergonomics comes into play from you know what do your hands do 
put those items by your hands. What do you look at? Put them in the proper position for visualizing it. Make airplanes easy to get in and out of. You know, all of these things, again, are to increase comfort, increase usability, uh, usability of the airplane, make it much more intuitive. The go-around button, you, know, you push that button, bars go up, pull back, hit the autopilot on, and, and you're done. I mean, it takes that, that tremendous anxiety out of uh, a go-around, and that's what we're trying, trying to do. And then, the, of course, the other thing is recontouring the seats. Oh, you don't want to get out of this airplane. <laughs> it's comfortable enough that, you know, after your four-hour flight, you look down and say, i got another hour of fuel. I'm going to fly around a little longer. I don't need to land yet. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. When it comes to the synthetic vision, I think it makes all the difference. Now, that is a aviation changing technology again. It just, it's, uh, um, it makes hand flying easier than anything else. All you got to do is put that flight vector, vector uh, or, or green dot mm -hmm. in the middle of the boxes and the airplane goes where it's supposed to go. It is so easy to fly. And then the intuitiveness again. You know, it's where is the ground, where's the airport, where are the towers, uh, traffic displayed on the PFD. You, you see it on the PFD, you look out the window, there it is. It will change the way people fly. All of these technologies uh, bring in a new aspect to aviation that uh, we've been learning about as an industry over the last few years and how do you train for this. And one of the things that people criticize us for or Cirrus for things like the uh, parachute or uh, just the entire philosophy of make it simple make it comfortable will entice people to go beyond where they should entice them to get into the trouble you know and that that's that's a real fear it's a fear that we all have in the industry it's a fear that has never changed it doesn't matter what the instrumentation is on the airplane you can fly, you can put yourself beyond your capabilities with that instrumentation. There's a lot of ideas on the table and a lot of things that, that we're trying as well as everybody in the industry. And One thing we like to do is, you know, we try what we can and we want to watch what everybody else, is, what everybody else tries. If they come up with something better, we're not so proud <laughs> to say, well, we'll, we'll grab it, we want it. Although all the hardware that you've seen, um, except the audio panel, but the this particular screens, the keyboard controller, and the this particular autopilot controller are unique to Cirrus, uh, and will remain so for the next year or so. Uh, the level button uh, is not. We we specifically said if other people want to put it on other versions of Garmin cockpits, go for it because we think it's significant. We want to lead this industry, and we want the industry to follow. We don't want to be out there alone. Uh, we want a healthy industry. We need a healthy industry. We need all our competitors to be healthy. We need strong FBOs. We need everybody advertising. The entire industry needs to be the evangelist on aviation because we need more people in aviation. And every time I fly, I'm surprised that there aren't more people. You know, and every time I get on an airliner, uh, it doesn't take me long to realize why I fly my own airplane every time I can. <laughs>